morning all of you good morning sir yes all of you can see the screen yes sir okay switch off your yes, mic sir. off your mics okay let's continue with our uh, <clears throat> third unit okay uh, last time uh we have finished the 6th and uh, today we are starting with the new topic uh from the third unit that is the business process integration and the enterprise system now uh, we will take the we need the three three or more than three lecture to complete this uh, topic that is the business process integration and the enterprise system okay so today we will understand what is the business process integration and uh, why it is the necessary okay and then we'll uh, next time we'll understand about the uh, in details about the erp system okay so today uh, we'll just discuss about the business process integration now uh, up till now we have discussed number of times the information system in that the traditional information system and the modern information system etc etc now as all of you are aware the traditional information system uh, where there is a no utilization of the computer so in case of that uh, you know the their uh, the components of the traditional information system are like the people's data and the procedure there is a no utilization of the computer and where the people apply the different rules on that particular uh, different procedure on that particular data and produce the information without the utilization of the computer so main aim of the any information system uh, it might be the traditional or the modern information system main aim is nothing but the producing the information from the raw data so in case of the traditional information system there was no computer okay only the people data and the certain rules or the procedures so people as a main resource apply some rules on that data and try to convert that data into the information that was the case in case of the traditional information system now after uh, traditional information system there comes the our modern information system so what is the difference between the traditional and the modern number of times we have discussed yes difference between the traditional information system and the modern information system sir modern information system consists hardware software people and data and yes we have discussed the number of, of, number of, number of people and data so, yeah so modern consists of the modern information system we are also calling it as a computerized information system now which is the you can see easily uh, differentiate between these two like the modern information system consists of the main resource is the computer in that the hardware software people data and the networking resources okay now uh, as you know the initially the growth of the business was not so high uh, as well as the complexity or the way of doing the business was also not so difficult managing the business was also not so difficult initially in the sense i am talking about the period before the 15 to 20 years back okay but the way there is a revolution changes in the industrial businesses happen the complexity difficulty in doing the business also increase managing the business also uh, get difficult okay managing the business and the various business units is the main thing in case of the any uh, business growth now 
what do you mean by the managing the business units or managing the different business process managing the different business unit or the business process is nothing but the managing the different functional department of that particular industry or the business and you know the different functional department within any business or the industry are nothing but like manufacturing department marketing department finance purchase accounting department sales department etc etc so these are the different what we can say the processes within a particular business or the industry or functional department within a certain industry you can call this function we can call these all the functional department as a process also okay different processes of particular uh, business or the industry now as there is a huge revolution takes place in the industries and the business number of business comes into the picture new businesses comes into the picture now in order to manage these all these things our traditional information system was not enough all of you are agree in order to manage this huge revolution in the industries and the businesses our traditional information system was not enough why why it was not enough yes managing these things like as i mentioned here industrial revolution and the complexity in the businesses what do you mean by these industrial revolution and the complexity of the businesses means what yes what do you mean by the industrial revolution yes anybody industrial revolution manje kay yes all of you got the question yes what do you mean by the industrial revolution tell me anything that in your mind so that we can discuss on that or uh, day by day changes day by day changes understood that is nothing but the industrial revolution the huge number of changes are happening complexity of businesses means what complexities of businesses means complexities means what yes complexity in the sense the different difficulties that comes while doing the businesses understood now as these changes are happening in the business world this kind of changes can be handled using the traditional information system was it was it easy to handle this using the traditional information system yes traditional information system use karun he sagle handle karta ala asta ka vyavasthit no sir understood and that was the reason there was a need of the computerized information system and that that is the reason there is a need of some automatic kind of devices that is nothing but our computers understood and so the from the, as the, from the time the industrial revolution taking place there was a need of the computerized kind of information system and from that period the computerized information system comes into the picture now as you know when you start using the computerized information system first and most important need is nothing but the computer itself understood now when the computer comes there comes the different hardwares there comes the different database there comes the different operating system etc etc okay now 
in the initial period when the uh, these uh, there is a transition happens from the traditional information system to the computerized information system as we have discussed there there is a so we started utilizing the computer to manage the businesses and uh, we started using the computers uh, and uh, over the computers we started utilizing the information system softwares okay but initially what was happening initially each of these functional department okay initially each of the these single functional department you can see the financial or the uh, accounting department or the purchasing department okay or you can say the sales department all these department were having the their own computer system their own database their own hardware okay and each of these functional department are working individually they are working individually individually in the sense there is a no link there is a no uh, network between this department and this department or this department understood now as each of these different departments are working individually uh, in isolation okay there is no link between these de different department then what is the drawback of this can you tell me all of you got the point functional department within a businesses what do you mean by the functional department within a businesses means which departments yes functional department of businesses or the industry manje kutle departments yes marketing finance marketing finance the mention kele mi tar he je department ek mekanna connected nastil tar tache drawback kay hotil that is my question what will be its drawback अकाउंटिंग डिपार्टमेंट मध्य जी एंट्री जी तीस फाइनाशियल डिपार्टमेंट मध्य सुधा होते नो डेटा एंट्री दैट इज नथिंग बट वॉट डुप्लिकेशन ऑफ एक्टिविटी सच एज द डेटा एंट्री करेक्ट मिस मैचिंग ऑफ डेटा कैन ऑल्सो हेपन and because of that huge amount of information is getting created and out of that huge amount of information some of the information is nothing but the complete duplicate information yes or no yes sir so this is happening because of what these departments are not linked with each other they are working as a single unit they are not linked with each other department within that particular business and because of that you can see the problems are getting created yes or no yes sir now apart from these problems as you see there is a industrial revolution happens okay in addition to this kind of problems like the duplication of data entries etc etc there was a global competition was also the one of the big problem was there another problem was also re related with the expectation of the customer on rise means there is a huge uh, expectation of the customer from the industries now what kind of demands are there uh, from the customer related with the certain product like you we as a customer always required the certain product with the reduced price yes or no we as a customer always required the product with the better quality we as a customer always require the fast delivery and better uh, sale after uh, better uh, service after sale now this these are the nothing but the expectation of the customer i hope you are getting this point correct expectation of the customers okay now in addition of this problem even after introduction of the computerized information system if these departments are not linked with each other they are not connected with each other there is a problems can come related with the duplication of data entry mismatch of data and because of that huge amount of unwanted information is getting stored and getting created along with this problem there was a global competition comes into the picture huge competition between the businesses and also another problems comes that is nothing but the 
huge rise in the expectation of the customer from uh, related with certain uh, product and the expectation of the customer uh, related with certain industry and the product that is being provided that provided from that particular industry now these particular problems how to tackle these all these problems how to handle these all these problems now in order to handle these particular problems what the company does in order to handle the global competition in order to handle the uh, expectation of the customer like customers are needing the product with the low cost better quality etc etc so what the companies or the different businesses does so they try to apply the another concept that is the decentralizing of the business okay solution to the global competition and solution to the higher expectation of the customer what industry does industry try to apply the another model of business that is what decentralizing the business okay what do you mean by the decentralizing the business can you tell me what do you mean by the decentralizing the business decentralizing the business means what centralized business versus the decentralized business yes now suppose there is a one particular company which is working at the bangalore okay and these companies are uh, taking the raw material from the different cities okay of the india as well as these companies hiring the employee from the different cities with where that employee will work at this unit bangalore and this uh, company which is situated at the bangalore this company is sending their product to sell in the different other cities means this company which is situated at the bangalore it is working centrally here yes or no you got the point yes sir yes, and sir. now opposite to this decentralized means this is called as the central centralized business model now opposite to this is this is what the decentralized business model now tell me by comparing with this what is your view regarding the decentralized business yes you understood the centralized business yes or no centralized business means what just i told you the company is situated at the bangalore and company is hiring the employee from the different cities company is taking the raw material from the different cities and company is supplying their product to the different cities understood but main unit of these companies at the bangalore now opposite to this what do you mean by the decentralized business yes sir manje centralized madhe hmm yes different like kya ghatla ta sir decentralized madhe local level la local level exactly तर मग काय आता तुम्ही विचार करा की कस्टमर एक्सपेक्टेशन काय आहे की त्यांना प्रोडक्ट कसं मिळालं पाहिजे कमी कॉस्ट मध्ये मिळालं पाहिजे यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉईंट येस नाव ना हाऊ इट कॅन बी बिकम पॉसिबल हाऊ द कॉस्ट कॅन बी रिड्यूस आता जर इथून जर सगळं एका ठिकाणाहून जर सगळ्या गोष्टी होणार असतील तर त्या प्रोडक्टची कॉस्ट वाढेल की कमी होईल सांगा मला वाढेल ना कारण बँगलोर युनिट सगळीकडून काय करतोय दे आर हायरिंग द एम्प्लॉय फ्रॉम द डिफरंट सेट सिटीज दे आर हायरिंग दे आर टेकिंग द रॉ मटेरियल फ्रॉम द डिफरंट सिटीज देन सप्लायंग इट टू द डिफरंट सिटीज बट इन्स्टेड ऑफ हॅव्हिंग द सेंट्रलाइज बिझनेस इफ द कंपनी मेक देअर युनिट इन द डिफरंट सिटीज इफ द कंपनी मेक देअर युनिट इन द डिफरंट सिटीज अँड इफ द कंपनी ट्राय टू यूज if company try to use the local market 
if the company try to hire the local labor then what will be the difference come local labor means what local labor means what yes local labor and the global labor means what now this company situated at the bangalore they are hiring the employee from the mumbai nashik pune etc etc now why should the company will take their plan to the nashik only then and if the company take their plan to the nashik they will get the easily low members uh, labors from the nashik only they can make the available uh, raw material from the nashik only now instead of sending the raw material from the nashik to the bangalore but getting the material available for that company only in the nashik which raw material will be costly sending the material from the nashik to the bangalore it, it will be costly or not so that is nothing but what instead of making the centralized business companies decided to go for the decentralized business and if the company go for the decentralized business the company can get the low cost labor now now tell me the labor which is working at the nashik that labor is from the nashik only and the labor which is working at the bangalore that labor has gone from the nashik to the bangalore which labor will take the more amount of money nashik which labor will take the more amount of money the labor which has gone from the nashik to the bangalore or labor which is working in the nashik only and which is which is who is also living in the nashik only who will require the more money company to be pay nashik varun jar bangalore la gela sar employee tar tyala jasta paise dyava lagtil na you are getting my point ani nashik madla je employee jar nashik madil company t kaam karat asel tar tyala jasta paise dyava lagtil ka no that is the meaning of local nahi local local labor with the low cost yes or no रॉ मटेरियल जर तुम्हें नशिक वो बैंगलोर सप्लाय कर प्लांट ओपन के रॉ मटेरियल पोचने कमी लगे का बैंगलोर पोचने कमी लगे नशिक सा कमी लगे ना कारण ती लोकल अवेलेबल है ना रॉ मटेरियल इज अवेलेबल लोकली you are getting my point yes sir so that is the difference between the centralized business and the decentralized business and in order to satisfy the need of the customers the company decided to go for the decentralized business so that company can get the low cost labor company can get the low cost raw material and company can supply that uh, uh, company can supply that product within a local markets only now because of that what happen the cost get reduce understood cost get reduce and you can see the complexity in managing the business complexity in managing managing the business okay as well as the coordination among the various units these all the things okay now what is now you understand the uh, advantage of decentralized business but is there any dis disadvantage of these also what do you think what can be the disadvantage of the decentralized business now main difference between the centralized and the decentralized is what decentralized in the sense company companies multiple units are working in the multiple cities that is the decentralized yes or no yes right yes and centralized means what company is operating from the single unit correct 
आता ऐडवांटेज तो तुम्हारा का आला ऐडवांटेज का लेबर कॉस्ट कमी हो जर डिसेंट्रलाइज सा तुम्हें गेला लेबर कॉस्ट कमी हो रॉ मटेरियल कॉस्ट कमी होट्रा दीज आर द ऐडवांटेजेस बट वॉट कैन बी द डिसएडवांटेज डिसएडवांटेज पू शको वॉट कैन बी डिसेंट्रलाइज वर्सेज सेंट्रलाइज लेबर नहीं डिसेंट्रलाइज बिजनेस डिसएडवांटेज का डिसेंट्रलाइज मल्टीपल कंपनीज युनिट्स प्लांट्स आर वर्किंग इन द मल्टीपल सिटीज इन द मल्टीपल लोकेशन ये सर नो वॉट वॉट कूड बी दॉट कैन बी द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ दैट डिसेंट्रलाइज बिजनेस सेंट्रलाइज मध्य जे कॉर्डिनेशन होते डिसेंट्रलाइज मध्य हो मग यस सेंट्रलाइज बिजनेस मध्य जे कॉर्डिनेशन होते डिसेंट्रलाइज बिजनेस मध्य हो यस और नो होना नहीं ना बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ द डिसेंट्रलाइज डिफरंट बिजनेस प्लांट्स आर वर्किंग एट द डिफरंट सिटीज and point you should keep in remember that these different plants are not connected to each other that is the main point you are getting my point understood yes and as these different business plants are not linked with each other there comes the problem of the coordination understood and there come the as there come the problem of the coordination why problems of the coordination will come because the companies are operating from the multiple location and because of that the problem of the cooperation and the coordination comes understood now there is a so as a company decided to make their uh, to choose the decentralized business model versus the centralized business model now there are the some advantages of the decentralized businesses also that we have discussed as well as there are the some disadvantages are also there but disadvantage like as i said decentralized is nothing but the different business plants uh, different business units are working from the different location of one company now this particular problem of the cooperation and the coordination how it can be handled can anybody tell me is it possible to handle this problem of the cooperation and the coordination first tell me is it possible to handle it or not and then tell me how yes why this problem is coming so if you got the answer that is nothing but our today's topic of the discussion okay as we have discussed already we have the xyz company and this company is working from the bangalore as a if you consider the centralized business now you we already discussed because the say because of the centralized business what can happen product of the cost can be increased pro, uh, uh, the payment that has to be given to the labor that can be increased cost of the raw material can be increased and because of the automatically cost of the final product increase but if this xyz company decided to launch their plant in the different cities like city a b c d etc now xyz companies xyz companies are making their business in, unit in the different cities now because of that what happen he is ha jo a unit ahe xyz company cha okay they will use their local laborers they will use their local raw materials etc because of that what happen product cost will get decrease same thing will be done by the these units which are in the different cities same will be done by these understood tar apan ha jo centralize hota tyacha kay kela apan decentralize kele this point understood yes yes sir हि जी एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी है अपन का डिफरंट युनिट डिफरंट सीटीज मध्य 
upon uh, we what we do we created the different units of this business plan okay xyz company ji ahe tiche apan kay kele different business plan different cities madhe apan establish kele okay that and this is can we call this as a decentralized then yes sir understood now what pro, here we are having the advantage that is the low cost labor low uh, low raw uh, low cost raw material etc etc but what i am asking and we are also having the disadvantage disadvantage is what of the decentralized business labor payment decentralized business the disadvantage kai ta sangitlen mi tumhala cooperation and the कोऑर्डिनेशन कारण काय कारण हे बिजनेस युनिट एकमेकांना अटॅच आहेत का नाही आर दे आर लिंक विथ इच अदर नो दे आर वर्किंग सेपरेटली नाउ माय क्वेश्चन इज व्हॉट हाउ दिस प्रॉब्लेम ऑफ द कोऑपरेशन एंड द कोऑर्डिनेशन कॅन बी हँडल यस शेयर कर यांच्यामध्ये सुद्धा मॉडर्न इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम युज होते यू गॉट द पॉइंट हिअर हिअर इन दिस डिफरंट बिझनेस युनिट देर इज अज ऑफ द कॉम्प्युटराइज इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम हा यस how this problem of the cooperation and the coordination can be handled in the decentralized business yes first thing you should make clear kya xyz ha jo tancha main business plan te ita sudha information system as a computerized information system get utilized आणि हे जे सेपरेट युनिट्स आहेत यांच्यामध्ये सुद्धा कॉम्प्युटराइज इन्फॉर्मेशन सिस्टीम युज होते अंडरस्टूड बट द पॉइंट इज वॉट दे आर नॉट लिंक विथ इच अदर इफ दे आर नॉट लिंक विथ इच अदर देन द कॉपरेशन अँड द कॉर्डिनेशन विल बी गेट डन इझिली इफ दे आर नॉट लिंक विथ इच अदर हा बिझनेस प्लॅन काय करतोय ते ह्या बिझनेस प्लॅन ला माहिती होईल का नाही nay and if it is not happen will the cooperation and the coordination will takes place in these different business units yes or no no sir then what what can be done to do that that is my question how this problem can be handled in case of the decentralized business yes do you got the question yes or no yes what question i have asked you do you got the question yes sir what question i have asked how to handle in decentralized the decentralized business cooperation and coordination 
हा डिसेंट्रलाइज बिजनेस मध्य कॉपरेशन कॉर्डिनेशन कस मेन्टेन के How it can be done? Now, problem of the cooperation and the coordination coming because of what? Yes. They are not linked to each. Other. Exactly, na. Problem of the cooperation and coordination come because they are not linked with each other. Then, what can be the solution? Yes. Centralized business. But in the centralized business, we are already discussed. We are getting the problems like uh, uh, increase in the cost of the product, increase in the cost of the labor, etc., etc. That is the reason we have moved to the decentralized business, na? Sir, yancha sati he yancha madhe coordination and the cooperation ne sati kai karao lagel. प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द कॉपरेशन एंड कॉर्डिनेशन कमिंग सो सोल्यूशन इज नॉट सोल्यूशन इज वॉट दे शुड लिंक विथ इच अदर so that they can they can communicate with each other easily yes or no yes sir and how this how this linking is should be done ani he link karnyala as kay mantat tya link karnyala as technical word kay integration the technical term for combining all these business units together is nothing but called as what the integration You got the meaning of integration in general. Integration meaning kya hai? What is the meaning of integration in general? Combining together, yes or no? Yes, sir. Understood. So, if the company or the businesses want to utilize the decentralized business model, as we have discussed, there are the lot of advantages of that. But one of the main disadvantage was the cooperation and the coordination, and in order to handle these. in order to handle these the solution is nothing but what integration of different business units together understood so as we have discussed the problem problem with the different enterprise uh, problem with the different enterprises and the business is what if they are not if they are having the different business units we are not link with each other they are facing the problem of what lack of integration as you can see the independent business units are working independently now you tell me just like here we have taken the example of there is the xyz company and these are the different business units of this xyz company in the different cities understood now if they are not linked with each other they are facing the problem of what lack of integration if they are linked with each other with each other we can say the integration is there between them and the problem of cooperation and the coordination is being solved now you tell me now within this xyz company only within this simple xyz company only there are the different functional departments are working yes within a single company you can consider this unit this unit this unit this or any unit or you can consider the main unit also correct you we consider the main unit also main unit only that is the xyz okay now in this xyz business a company which are the functional departments are there which are the functional departments are there yes in any business company which are the functional departments are there manufacturing manufacturing finance accounting etc etc आणि हे जे हे जे फंक्शनल डिपार्टमेंट्स जर एकमेकांना लिंक नसतील देन ऑल्सो द प्रॉब्लेम ऑफ कोऑपरेशन एंड द कोऑर्डिनेशन कम्स यस और नो यस सर सो माय पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन इज व्हाट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ बिजनेस प्रोसेसेस इज रिक्वायर्ड 
when within the functional departments also within a single company is also yes sir yes sir okay so you can see in order to have the cooperation and the coordination now cooperation and coordination is required between just we have discussed the cooperation and the coordination required between the various business units of the single company yes as well as it requires it requires between the different functional department of the company also you are getting point the cooperation and coordination just like it required between the different business units of the single company it also requires between the different functional department of that particular companies also understood and this coordination and the cooperation can become possible only if there is a integration of business processes will takes place integration of business processes or integration of different business unit is nothing but what linking all these business units together understood linking all these business units yes sir together now how this become possible what we have to do we have to do the integration of different functional departments as well as we have to do the integration of different integration of different business units now how it can be done first you tell me do you understand the meaning of integration of business means what do you mean by the integration of different functional departments what is the meaning of this statement they are combined to each other integration of functional departments means what ki different functional department ekmekala link kele jate you got the point and integration of different business units of single company means what integration of business units of single company manje kay yes दिस इज द मेन कंपनी एक्स वाई जेड हा कंपनी प्लैट्स कुछ डिफरंट सीटीज मध्य एक्स वाई जेड कंपनी डिफरंट बिजनेस यूनिट्स यस और नो यस सो इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ फंक्शनल डिपार्टमेंट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट एज वेल एज इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डिफरंट बिजनेस यूनिट्स इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट वाय दिस इज इम्पॉर्टंट to handle the real issue of what real issue of management and coordination of all the kind of data as well as handling the all the kind of data which is available at the different location which is available in the different department etc etc now in order to do this now in order to do this particular uh, in order to uh, handle all these problems that we have discussed the only one solution to all these is nothing but the integration of information system the solution to this all is nothing but what integration of information system the all the units all the units of the businesses must be link with each other as well as all the functional department which are working there they must be link with each other understood and this concept is nothing but called as what the integration of what information system understood this point yes sir yes okay. sir now in the you can see number of times we have discussed the modern information system uh, produces the different kind of uh, information and this different information we are utilizing for the decision making etc etc this point also we have discussed number of times number of uh, the kind of information produced by the information system is in the form of the reports graphs charts etc etc and this all the information is utilized by the certain manager of that company you know to make the different kind of decision okay that is nothing but the some of the functionality of the modern information system okay and already we have discussed uh, today only ki if the uh, information system are not link with each other number of problems we can face and if the information system are link with each other 
if the different functional departments are linked with each other with their information system in each department the number of such kind of problems can be solved okay now you you just think about okay you can just think about if the production department if the production department is not linked with the purchase department then what will happen is there any relationship between the production department and the purchase department yes is there any kind of relationship between the production department of any company and the purchase department of any company yes what can be the relation प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट आणि परचेस डिपार्टमेंट मध्ये काही रिलेशन असू शकत का यस प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंटच काम काय व्हॉट इज द वर्क ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग काहीतरी प्रोड्यूस करणे परचेस डिपार्टमेंटच काम काय व्हॉट इज द वर्क ऑफ द परचेस डिपार्टमेंट परचेस म्हणजे काय परचेसिंग समथिंग काहीतरी खरेदी करणं मग आता आता एखाद्या कंपनी मध्ये त्या कंपनी मधलं परचेस डिपार्टमेंट काय परचेस करत असेल कन्सिडर करा की कार मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग कंपनी तर त्याचे प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट काय करते की कार मॅन्युफॅक्चर करते मग परचेस डिपार्टमेंट काय करत असेल रॉ मटेरियल परचेस करत असेल ना एक्झॅक्टली द परचेस डिपार्टमेंट परचेसिंग द रॉ मटेरियल अकाउंटिंग डिपार्टमेंट काय करत असेल अकाउंटिंग डिपार्टमेंट काय करत यस व्हॉट इज द वर्क ऑफ द अकाउंटिंग डिपार्टमेंट जे परचेस परचेस करू आपण ना पैसे दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स बीइंग डन बाय द अकाउंटिंग तर मी व्हॉट आय एम आस्किंग इज देयर एनी रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट एंड द परचेस डिपार्टमेंट याच्यामध्ये काही रिलेशन असतं का यस काय असू शकत प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट ला प्रोड्यूस करण्यासाठी काय लागणार आहे रॉ मटेरियल येस ऑर नो रॉ मटेरियल मग रॉ मटेरियल जे लागणार आहे त्याचे इन्स्ट्रक्शन त्याची जी काय त्यांची जी ऑर्डर असते त्यांना ती परचेस डिपार्टमेंट ला द्यावा लागेल ना यस अंडरस्टूड मीन्स वॉट इच ऑफ दिस फंक्शनल डिपार्टमेंट are depends on each other yes or no and purchase department if purchase department want to purchase something he has to contact to the accounting department am i right yes sir yes sir what i'm trying to explain you each of the functional departments of particular company or the business are depends on each other all of you are agree yes sir जर असे असेल तर हे जे डिपार्टमेंट जर एकमेकांशी लिंक नसतील त्यांच्यामध्ये जर प्रॉपर कम्युनिकेशन नसेल तर बिझनेस व्यवस्थित होऊ शकेल का बिझनेस तर होऊ शकेल पण ज्या स्पीडने बिझनेस व्हायला पाहिजे त्याचं जे आउटकम यायला पाहिजे ते येईल का दॅट इज माय क्वेश्चन येणार नाही ना येस ऑर नो and now how it can be then become possible how the proper communication can be done between all these things between all these functional department the only answer to this is nothing but what integration of information system manje kay ki he pratyek department jaye production department must be linked with the purchase department purchase department must be linked with the accounting department etc etc got the point आणि त्यालाच आपण मग बिझनेस प्रोसेस इंटिग्रेशन म्हणू शकतो का
Yes or no? Yes, sir. That is nothing but the called as what the business process integration. Understood? Ki Javes initially, when initially modern information system comes into the picture. Okay, when the computerized information comes into the picture, tar he je integration hota te na hota te avales tita. Each of these inform, each of these departments like for production, uh, the accounting, purchase, they are working at their department level. Okay, they are working at their department level and they are producing the information for the for that particular department itself. In the sense, what production department is producing the information for production department only. Accounting department is uh, keeping their information for themselves only. Purchasing department keeping their information and producing their information only for themselves only. They are not sharing the information from one department to the another department. Even they are sharing, there was a lot of difficulties were, were coming in the sharing of this information from one department to the another department because there is there was no linking between this department. You got the point. And how this sharing can be become possible only if there is an integration happen between these all these functional department. Okay. And you can see if these departments are not linked with each other, will the sharing will become possible? Yes or no? No. No. Sharing possible will, but the amount of the information share will be shared, the speed of the information share will be shared, the speed of the information share will be shared. Yes, sir. What do you think about that? Linking. Linking. That is nothing but what? Our integration. What we need to do? We need to combine these functional departments together so that that problem of the disadvantage of this information system initially i'm to, we are talking about the disadvantage of the modern information system initially initially in the sense before the integration so this disadvantage of this kind of information system that disadvantage is what minimal information is shared between different departments which means that one department is not aware with what is happening in the another department simple question if these departments are not integrated if these departments are not integrated, will the one department will know what is happening in the other department? Yes. If these functional departments are not integrated, will the one department will know what is happening in the other department? That is my question. No. No. Understood. And so that was the main drawback of the uh, initial modern information system. And this drawback is can be handled by one of the important concept that is nothing but what business process integration. Understood. Ata Malasanga, their head functional department, a Pekashi connected Nastil. Then they cannot share the information with each other. Now, Yatsa Parinam. Manager or who should the the decision that is being taken by the manager can be get affected because of lack of business process integration. The department is connected to the manager will the decision give the That is my question. No. No. Manager will take the decision to 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 the to the decision to the कारण त्या सिस्टीम एकमेकांशी कनेक्टेड आहेत का नाही मॅनेजरला मग अगोदर प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट कडून डेटा घ्यावा लागेल इन्फॉर्मेशन मॅनेजर हॅज टू टेक द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम इंडिव्हिज्युअली फ्रॉम द प्रोडक्शन डिपार्टमेंट परचेस डिपार्टमेंट फायनान्स डिपार्टमेंट एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा देन दॅट मॅनेजर हॅज टू कलेक्ट दॅट इन्फॉर्मेशन कंबाईन दॅट इन्फॉर्मेशन अँड मॅनेजर हॅज टू रिले क्रिएट द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दॅट दिस ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन अँड देन ही कॅन टेक द डिसिजन आता याच्यासाठी खूप वेळ लागेल की नाही सांगा मला yes. बट इफ दिस फंक्शनल डिपार्टमेंट आर लिंक विथ इच अदर अँड इट्स कंट्रोल इज देअर टू द मॅनेजर द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड विल बी लेस ऑर नॉट येस अँड द सेम पॉइंट आय मेन्शन युअर 
in case of the drawback of our uh, initial modern information system here i have mentioned another major drawback is that the system provide the information it was designed to produce not what the manager want to uh, not what the manager may want at the particular time this means that the decision maker had to take the decision on isolated data if the departments are not linked with each other each, uh, each other then manager has to combine all these data combine all these isolated data isolated manje kay what do you mean by the isolated isolated means what separate separate if they are not linked with each other tancha kade je information ti kay jali isolated jali understood and the same point i have mentioned this means that the decision maker if the if the functional departments are not linked with each other then manager has to combine these isolated data together he has to collect these isolated data combine and he have to create the relationship between them and then he can make the decision mag ya sagla problem cha ek solution is nothing that one solution to all these problem to overcome the above mentioned drawback the solution is nothing but what integrated information system that we have discussed so solution to all these nothing but what integrated information system and here i have mentioned the same thing that we have discussed in the integrated form of the information system the departmental information functioning in isolation are integrated into the single system integrated into the single system its meaning is what if they are linked with each other okay if these different functional departments are linked with each other then we can call it as a single system yes or no बरबर ना डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट जर तुम्हें लिंक के लिए सींगल सीस्टीम बनू शको अंडरस्टूड एज सेम थिंग आई मेन्शन इन द इंटीग्रेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन सीस्टम द डिपार्टमेंटल इन्फॉर्मेशन फंक्शनिंग इन आइसोलेशन आर इंटीग्रेटेड इन टू दिंगल सीस्टीम एंड दिस प्रोवाइड मच नीडेड हेल्प एज ईच डिपार्टमेंट नाउ अवेयर वॉट इज हेपनिंग इन द अदर डिपार्टमेंट आता हे जर डिपार्टमेंट लिंक के लिए एक डिपार्टमेंट लजीली कहू शकत कि दुसर डिपार्टमेंट मध्य चालू है एम आई राइट yes yes sir so that is nothing but the concept of what integration of the information system samajh le ho oh, sir okay let's just 5 minutes only next lecture kiti vasta hai tumcha next lecture aale ka hai tumhara ho oh, 11:30 sir 11:30 ka okay okay just uh, then okay the only the same point but just with the example i have uh, mentioned next tomorrow we'll discuss the remaining part okay okay sir or you can give the 5 minutes then we can we would have finished that okay tomorrow we'll discuss no problem Okay tomorrow we'll continue with the same uh, whatever the remaining points of this okay Yes okay okay thank you all of you Thank you sir Okay you I uh, today we will only I upload the this uh, video you should go through all these things tomorrow I'll ask the question on this okay already i told you to do the revision of all the things that we have discussed up till tomorrow i will ask the question on the whatever topics we have discussed okay thank you all of you thank you sir